Talkman's chief market strategist at bullseyeoption.com. He's got some solar on his mind, but let's talk about the broad market first, Alan, as we're trying to catch a bid. Bond yields down after some soft economic right. data. I guess that's the recipe that works right now. Just look at the price, my friend. Another good week in stocks last week, building on the week before. And we're coming into the one-month anniversary of the banking situation, and we've blown that off. So, you know, it's all about price here, and we've got a big bounce. We're approaching 4,200 in the S&P, which is going to be big deal. We've been between 3,800 and 4,200 for five, six months now. A breakout of this range sends us at 4,600. Look at what tech is doing, exactly what you said. We're technically in a bull market in tech now after a more than 20% bounce off that bottom. And Alan, how far lower does VIX go? Should we be diving right now? VIX is up a little bit. I, you know, we're comfortable around this 20 level. Let's see what it does, if it can take out that 17 from earlier, a couple months ago. Uh, but in, in historical terms, the VIX ha had been a long time around the 12 level. So we still got a lot more downside in the VIX uh, and more upside in the S&P. This is big. We've got earnings kicking off here in two weeks. Uh, earnings expectations are terrible. Uh, they're expecting earnings growth of earnings growth of negative 6.6% for the quarter, um, but we're still expecting revenue growth and we're still expecting 11% plus net profit margin. So we're standing here at almost 4,200 and we know that this earnings is gonna, is gonna be, uh, you know, not good. Okay. All right, uh, volatility right now, 19 half, uh, nothing uh, terribly novel based nothing. on the ranges we've been in. Okay, let's talk some stock specifics, uh, Alan. How come Sun Power's on your list this morning? Well, Sun Power has a couple of things uh, going for it that I like. Uh, number one, it's still significantly off its highs. It's 75% off its, its 2021 top when it was at $57. It's down 20% in 2023 when everything is up for the year. Everything. We've got crude oil up, gold up. Uh, you know, every stock market is, is up in 2023. The only thing that's been down has been the dollar and rates and, I've, and the VIX, and I view those as all a positive. So we're also 50 percent off the top from October of 2022, which is, I guess, not that long ago. What, what are we looking at? Six months ago? So there's a lot of positives here in the fact that it's made a bottoming formation. And what I look for is bullish divergence. It made new lows, but not new highs in implied volatility. We've talked about this over and over again. That's a sign of a sentiment shift, that the psychology has changed, that the short sellers are running out of strength. And at some point, there's going to be some profit taking for all those people that have been short this market for a long time, that they've tightened up their stop losses, they're going to lock in some profits, and that, whatever the catalyst is going to be, and I don't know what the catalyst is, and I don't care, that it can feed itself to the upside, which will hit some buy stops and feed it higher, hit more buy stops, and so forth and so forth. All right, you're looking for a pretty big reversal of momentum here for this one. Well, yeah, I'm positioning for uh, a reversal in this stock. Uh, again, we've been between 12 and 14 now for the last month. A bullish divergence base, that's what I look for. Um, and a breakout of the sideways range chart at 16. Then there is a gap up above at 21, and the 200-day moving average is a, and also the midpoint magnet of this action for the year has been between 15 and 25. Everything coincides with a, a move back to the 20 level. So what I'm looking for here is I'm trying, I'm trading the uh, September $10 call. We're about 14 right now, or we were anyways. Uh, that option's $4 in the money trade for about five. Uh, it's got an 80 delta. It's got six months of time. And if we get back to that 20 level, a very modest you know, movement, uh, then this uh, option will gain 100%. Okay, modest movement for a big bounce. You just can't have it go down. Well, I mean, I have the right to be long from 10. It hasn't been to, it hasn't been at a 10 since 2020 level. So, you know, let's think about it. You know, you're buying a stock that's at 14, and I have the right to be long from 10. That's a pretty major, major discount uh, from from where from you know 
from where it's trading right now if you want to buy right. the shares. So you tie up less money, you, uh, you have plenty of time to ride through the ups and downs. And like I said, my signal here, not only is this bullish divergence, but I'm also seeing some leverage buying. So some uh, smart money is identifying uh, some opportunities here. And what they're doing is they're using options to get into this stock in a bullish manner. So uh, I'm following uh, I, I'm following some uh, some leaders here with with some technicals as well that tell us that it looks like the short sellers run out of strength and at some point here we're gonna get some movement to the upside. And if it does, this option is gonna provide a very, very good payoff. A limited risk option, trained for five, five hundred dollars, mm. ties up a lot must lot less money than buying the stock and trying to be a hero. Got it. Okay. So uh, swimming in the current of some big fish ahead of you that look like uh, they're positioned for a turnaround. And if it does dip, then uh, you become an investor uh, in the stock uh, as opposed to the trade. <laughs> well, you have, a, you have a limited risk position. You've got six months of time. And you can always put a stop loss on your options. So if sure. you buy someone for five and it gets down to where it's trading at two and a half, then you know maybe the market's either going the wrong the other way or are you running out of time so those are the two components in this equation and this is how you position for a turn for a gentle bottom we're not trying to pick the exact v bottom yep. we're, we're positioning for a gentle bottom in this stock and in this sector as well all right appreciate it alan let's get back to the trading thank floor you. busy morning over there thank you very much sir alan nutman from bullseye options let's talk some tech with kevin green Joining us are 